Since 1978, Luis's has been LA's favorite handmade Italian with a community first emphasis and dedication to the freshest ingredients. Check out the new prefix menu, a three course meal for only $16. For more information, visit luises.com. Hi, I'm Phil Brock. You're watching Brock and Your Block. Today, we're in Palisades Park. This is the crown jewel of Santa Monica Parks and it's world famous. Ah, here's the rub. We have a potential wild and exotic animal ban that's coming to the City Council this Tuesday. Let's talk about that. I'm with William Cronin, and he is? Senior Creative Content Producer. For? PETA. PETA. PETA would like to see exotic animals banned from city parks. In actuality, PETA would like to see exotic animals banned from people's homes, but public parks are a great way to start. Yeah. The animals you usually see out here in these parks, the birds and the reptiles, those animals are not protected under the Federal Animal Welfare Act, which is the only federal law that even attempts to protect animals used for entertainment. And so there's, there's really no regulation of these animals. And to be fair, for full disclosure, this ordinance is coming from the Recreation and Parks Commission, which I'm the chair of. They're setting up almost permanent exhibitions of these animals and on public land for private gain. I also have a Santa Monica resident, Kirsten Laga. Uh-huh. And she wrote me, uh, I thought, a wonderful email last week about this issue. I don't think they belong in the park. I don't think they belong anywhere in the city. Like there was a monkey performing up at the Third Street uh, Promenade some years ago. Mm -hmm. And it was really sad to see that. And also, uh, not too long ago, we banned uh, the ponies on Saturdays on Main Street. So we should be consistent. It's the only way to get the Santa Monica Pier is down this sidewalk in front of me. And imagine you're taking a friend down to the pier. Yeah. I've been down here with a parrot has been thrown in the air at me. And at the same time, two steps later, here's a boa constrictor's head being thrust at me. And I, I'm not afraid of birds or, or snakes, but there are people who are. And for the residents of Santa Monica, this is an ordinance that will be fair. It is humane because it's compassionate for the animals. And it also helps us take care of something that is our, our, one of our biggest public trust, our parks in Santa Monica. For Brock and your block, I'm Phil Brock. Have a great afternoon.